There is a trend happening with caravans going gasless. It's safer, means fewer vents for dust to get in and less hassle hauling bottles. We've seen a few now. But this Evanu is a bit different. It's got a power system from Red Arc and it comes in at around 150 grand. We've got it for a couple of days on the outskirts of the Victorian high country. But first, a little bit about Evanu. Headed by Danny Bibb and his family since 2017, Evanu has been around for nearly 60 years. In that time, they've built a reputation for high quality and capable caravans. Built in Melbourne, the factory produces around 100 to 150 caravans per year, selling directly to the public. Evanu vans are built to order and are typically not the first van a family owns. They are for experienced people looking for the perfect van for long distance touring. Anyone looking to do a lap or long distance touring knows the importance of the undersides of the van. It has to be well built and it has to have anything fragile tucked away safe from rocks and other debris. The chassis is locally made by GNS Chassis and measures 150 by 50 mil. Now the same material is used to tie into the suspension points and the suspension is Cruise Master's excellent level 4 ATX airbag suspension, fully automatic. Now, they run 46mm remote reservoir shock absorbers. And another detail I like is just how well protected the 95 litre water tanks are and the 95 litre grey tank. Up front, the A-frame is gusseted for strength. There's a Cruise Master DO45 hitch rated to 4,500 kilos. Not fitted but comes with a van, a trailer mate jack and Dexter ESC. On the outside, the body is wrapped in composite aluminium panels with a Maranti frame underneath. There is an external shower for washing off and a Dometic awning and a good amount of storage. And one thing that impressed me are those storage lockers. There is a carpeted locker for chairs and two big lockers for general gear that will also fit a barbecue or genset. The rear of the van is chamfered to increase ground clearance. The RTX 35 feels like a bargain for the build quality. Other cool bits of tech are the twin rear view cameras, the keyless front door and a witty security system that includes a GPS tracker. Starting with the bed, it's a plush queen and with a full size bed head would make a great place for a lazy morning reading a book. Now there's plenty of storage for books and places to charge your phone around the bed too. In the dinette, you'll find genuine leather seating which is durable, easy to keep clean and comfortable. The kitchen has laminate splashbacks and a Thetford induction cooktop, Dometic compressor fridge freezer and a microwave, which all run off the inverter or AC. In the ensuite, there's a Kamek 3 kilo top loading washing machine and for a bit of fun, a Fusion Apollo 770 audio system is fitted to blast your favourite Buddy Holly tracks. Hiding under the bed is a Truma Combi D space heater hot water service. These are great bits of kit that use very little diesel as a space heater and work fast to heat water hot. When it's a bit hot, there is an efficient IBIS 4 reverse cycle air conditioner on the roof. Speaking of roof, there's a bit of solar up there that feeds into a Redux supplied power system. Up top, there are three 180 watt lightweight solar panels, which feed into a Redux Manager 30. There's also an external solar input for additional portable solar panels. Power from the solar 50 amp Anderson plug and AC feed into the Manager 30 charger from Red Arc and onto a bank of Red Arc lithium batteries totaling 400 amp hours. A Red Vision TVMS or Total Vehicle Management System plugs into the charger and allows users to control almost any powered appliance in the caravan via an app or screen. Red Vision allows you to control your lights, inverter, water pumps, TV, electric steps and fridges. It also provides you with the ability to monitor water levels, temperatures and the state of your battery charge or discharge. There are dual pole plugs throughout the van and plenty of 12 volt sockets and USB plugs. Converting the 12 volt DC to 240 volt AC is a 3000 watt pure sign inverter again from Red Arc. The inverter has more than enough capacity to run the induction cooktop and the washer and will even run the Dometic IBIS 4 AC, but not for a long time. Expect an hour or two before you're through half or more of your battery reserve. So we're towing the RTX with a Silverado 2500 Heavy Duty and it is overkill. This Silverado is rated to tow 4500 kilos braked and with a couple of modifications will tow over 5 tonne which is just crazy. 
Now, I think a good fit for the RTX 35 would be a Land Cruiser, and I think you could get away with a modern ute with a three and a half ton tow capacity, but something like the Silverado would be, you know, be epic. It'd be the, uh, the best you could do if you could justify it. If you want to see how the Silverado tows, you'll find a link to the tow test in the description below. You've heard me talk about how much of a bargain I reckon this van is, and that's because to get the technology that's inside it with the capability that it has, you'd normally be spending over 200 grand. And being gasless, in my opinion, is also a really good thing. It's a lot safer not having gas in your van. You don't have to worry about lugging bottles around, plus electricity is more efficient, and it's abundant in Australia with a good solar setup like this van. I really love that this sort of technology is becoming more affordable.